a book signing. This is Go Island. I'm Mary Ruth Harris, but the focus of today's show is Elizabeth May. You are watching Go Island on Shaw TV's Channel 4. Elizabeth May has come to the little town of Courtney, the little city of Courtney, to talk to us about her book. She is going to be doing a reading and a book signing, and we actually have an interview with her coming up later in the show. We're going to start right here, though, in the Comox Valley. Go Island is on location at the Courtney Library here in our little city. We are being visited by the Green Party leader, Elizabeth May, who has a new book out. She's going to be doing a reading and a book signing, which is why there is a small crowd gathered waiting for her arrival. And we are going to have an interview with her coming up right after this. I'm Mary Ruth Harris. You're watching Go Island. We have had the opportunity to speak with Elizabeth May, who is a member of parliament for Saanich Gulf Islands, but she is also the leader of the Green Party right across Canada. She is in Courtney, and we had the opportunity to interview her. What's coming up right now is part one. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV's Channel 4. I'm Mary Ruth Harris, and this is Elizabeth May, the leader of the Green Party federally. Hi. How are you? Great. You really. must be tired. You've been going back to back with these book signings. Well, you know, I've been doing this kind of work, reaching out to Canadians on a lot of issues, and I love book tours because I get to talk about something that isn't about partisanship. I'm not a big fan of political mm -hmm. parties. As a matter of fact, one of the things I say in my book is that I think democracy would be improved if we had never invented political parties. So I love being at events that are about reading and <laughs> talking about Canada and not, you know, not actual campaign events. It's wonderful. Now, this book, did it grow out of your own personal journaling or did you consciously set out to write a book? Oh, I set out to write the book, yes. Okay. This is my eighth book. I love writing, and uh, one of the things that I consciously set out to do is avoid being terrified when I'm on airplanes. So, okay, so as a federal member of parliament, I'm in Ottawa, and my home is in Sydney, BC, right? So Beautiful. Yeah, on the Saanich Peninsula, so gorgeous, but I come home a lot, well, almost every weekend. That's a lot of flying. That is a lot and of flying. And if you're a kind of a white knuckle flyer the way I am, mm. I can't sleep on the flights. I have a whole system, but it does involve getting myself out of what I'm doing, which is at the moment being on an airplane. And so I write. I write all the time. Okay. And I, I felt with this book, what I wanted to do was uh, share stories, mm -hmm. not just, you know, like a bunch of statistics that you find boring to read. But my own way of learning, what I've learned about democracy, what okay. I've learned about climate science, what I've learned about how one person can make a huge difference and okay. share that. Mm. Do you think that books such as yours will help to inspire the next generation that's up and coming through the high schools right now and into colleges? I hope to so. get more engaged. Yeah, I hope so. Uh, but I mean, it's really for, I mean, I'm 60 and it's for people my age who are just saying, oh my goodness, I look at, I mean, I talk to so many of my constituents who look at question period, look at parliament and say, I don't know how you stand it. Well, I want to let people know how I stand it and, and what it really could be like and how much mm -hmm. better it could be. Right. So it's for everybody. But yes, of course, I really, as a, as a mom and a grandmother, I really want our kids to know how democracy works and okay. and share the central message which is that in a democracy all of us each one of us has power and when we think we're powerless we create that reality for ourselves we become powerless but right. when we take that power and say look it's a democracy not only am I going to vote I'm going to make sure I share with my community what issues really matter right. then your power is amplified what do you think people will take away after they read your book? What do you want them to walk away with? I'm hoping that, that people will say, right, I've been watching the news and seeing things happen as though it isn't connected to my life. And now I'm really 
much more aware that I've got to be a participant in my own story. Right. You know, an issue like climate, for instance, it's not something out there that we can ignore. It's happening to us and our kids. Mm -hmm. So it's not enough to be a participant. Okay. We, we, I mean, rather, excuse me, it's not enough to be an observer. We've got to become participants in our own story. Entirely different from this. The book, the book I wanted to write was sort of um, picking up from where my last book was, which was called Losing Confidence, Power, Politics, and the Crisis in Canadian Speaking with Elizabeth was absolutely fascinating. We're going to take a short break and we're going to come right back for part two. One of the things that we've noticed very recently in British Columbia, because of course we are in the midst of municipal elections oh, yeah. and the fallout of that, is the poor voter turnout. And compared to India, that had national elections back in the spring, mm -hmm. they had 90, over 96% yeah. of their population turn out. Yeah, that's very typical. Greece had over 90% voter turnout. The Scandinavian countries are always over 80% voter turnout. Uh, I think our voting system first past the post discourages people from voting because I think my vote's not going to make a difference. Right. Now, when I was elected in Sandwich Gulf Islands in 2011, mm -hmm. we had uh, about the highest voter turnout in Canada. We had 75% voter turnout. Yeah. Wow. When people can be excited and say, right, okay. my vote could make history. I'm going to do something great. Same thing mm -hmm. happened for the Green Party MLA for BC, Andrew Weaver, when he was elected. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was the highest voter turnout in BC. So okay. I'm a firm believer that we'll get the kind of government we really deserve and the kind of government we want when we encourage people to get out and vote. And I, I'm, I'm not even saying get out and vote green, I'm saying get out and vote. When voter right. turnout goes up, we get better decisions. Okay. Now, if somebody, can you read this book in a weekend? Pretty much, I yeah. think so. It's it's um, it's storytelling. I've talked to people who've read it over a weekend. It's okay. not. It depends how much time you've got and what kind of reader you are. If you read a chapter, you know, it's it's about eleven chapters. Okay. You could easily read a chapter a night before you fall asleep, or read it all if you're taking if you're the kind of person who's taking a bus to work. You can okay. the average bus trip. You can get something. <laughs> you can get through a chapter. Yeah. And um, what are you hoping that? Is there any aha moments? Like somebody's going to read and they're going to go, oh. oh. Yeah, people are really shocked by how much political parties control what members of parliament do. That's been something I've had a lot of people okay. say to me. They wondered why it was that, say, for instance, that, that parliament seems so unpleasant. They didn't realize that these horrible lines are scripted and that MPs are reading lines written for them. Right. That's, a, that's an aha moment for some people. And then uh, also understanding the ways in which uh, a lot of issues are never really covered in the mainstream news. Like, yeah, that's what true. happened with that story? We heard a little bit about it, but we never heard what happened. Or why is it that scientists are being muzzled? There's a lot in the way I, I hope I've written it as storytelling. Okay. And I think we learn through narrative. We don't necessarily learn through a pile of statistics. Okay. But when it's, a, when it's an engaging story. So I think there'll be a few aha moments about the nature okay. of Canadian democracy and particularly about citizen power. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much for taking the time oh. to chat with us and our Thank viewers you. and our audience and well, enjoy tonight well, because you have to a be very Courtney great library. So, yeah, if if uh, if anyone wants to find the book, libraries are a great place to find it. They are. But it's also in most uh, most bookstores on Vancouver Island. We're doing really well. You have a very enthusiastic audience waiting patiently for you. you. So, we're going to let you yeah. go. Thank you. And we're going to take a short break. We'll be right back. I'm Mary Ruth Harris. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV's Channel 4. We are at the Courtney Library where leader of the Green Party, Elizabeth May, is here reading from her book and she'll be doing a book signing in a little while. But right now, we are going to watch this. Adult Nonfiction 971 and there's supposed to be three copies and they're not here because they're all out already. I'm talking about Elizabeth May's new book, Who We Are. And we are here at the Courtney Library right now and she's reading to the massive crowd that has gathered to hear her read and to get a signed book from her. And while they're doing that, we're gonna do this. 
I'm Mary Ruth Harris. You have been watching Go Island on Shaw TV's Channel 4. We have been here on location at the Courtney Library for the book reading and book signing by Elizabeth May, who is the leader of the Green Party for Canada. Her book, called Who We Are, Reflections on My Life and Canada. It is her eighth book that she has written. She loves writing and it's written in, not as a true nonfiction, it's more written in a storyteller fashion. And you can easily get through it in a weekend if you have a couple of hours on each day. So pick it up, you can get it here at the library. They have three or four copies. All of them are out currently, but you can get your name on the list, or you could pick it up at any of the bookstores in town. So thank you so much for joining us, and we will see you soon.